Hello racers and welcome to a new episode of the FIA Gran Turismo Championship Nations Cup and we are at Dragon Trail Seaside 2 in the Jag GR4, the F-Type GR4 It is 1 o'clock in the afternoon, it, the weather is cloudy, we're doing 15 laps the fuel is times 3, the tyres are time 11, times 11 We've got to use both the medium and hard, okay? The problem is the fuel doesn't matter because we're not going to use enough of it, okay? So we don't have to worry about refueling. All we have to do is just worry about our tyres. But we do have to use both the medium and hard. Now, I don't put hards on the back. As we go past the second one, he went in there a bit too slow, didn't he? That stream of O2 there, he just didn't get that right. And we're going to go into the chicane of death here. Here we go under the tunnel, we must go. E I E I E I O. Um, as you just get a little tap there, but he, he pulls out, which is well, but I take that the wrong line and smack the wall there. That gives me front spoiler damage, and I don't take that properly, and that's going to give me half a second pot penalty there. Um, the spoiler damage is going to actually cause that. Now, I we got lucky there and we didn't get spun there. Now, I don't think that was Sausage's fault. I just think it was just the way it went. Okay. Um, I don't think it was been bad. It was just that I was compromised too much and it was that little bit too fast. Other than that, there was nothing else in it. Um, as I was saying, yeah, the, we need to use medium and hard and we need to keep an eye on our tyre wear. Um, as we take the S's coming up here, it's that one there, that corner always catches you out if you're not careful on bad tyres. We're not, we, look, we're almost at the end of the first lap here and we're, we're, we're in the same position. What's not to like about that as we come up to serving our half a second penalty for cutting the chicane there. So, I mean, at the moment, I'm enjoying this. It's the end of the first lap, I'm still in third. It's good. As, as, as we come up to serve our penalty now before we go down the road leg straight. Um, what I would like to say is I do slow down a rather lot on the final sector, the third sector. It's, I don't know whether it's complacency or not because we've had a really good run of results here. Um, as we speed it up now, um, we've had a really good run of results there and as you can see, I bought this car especially because I didn't want to drive the Nissan so I bought this car especially for driving in the GR4 group so you can see we've done 500 miles there I, I, I wasn't enough the last sector here we're too slow through that final chicane there we we're about 10 miles an hour too, show, too slow there as you can see the fastest lap there is set by sting and it's one minute fifty point zero six one now as the race does go on you'll 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 see what i mean about that last sector there causing us a lot more hassle than it should do as we slow down here as we come into the the peak of the triangle there we took too much of the curb there and it, it threw us as we, we we straighten up here as we come through the the last chicane here you break just before the 50 mark we, we, we don't hook that up we got too much understeer it compromises us badly there um, we get lucky that we don't get overtaken um, so I, I, I do have the confidence there you can see by speeding it up even around the chicane of death here we, we, we're maximising the width of the track again we get another purple sector there it is a good strength of mine that first sector the s's can be tricky but it's this final sector here this chicane here it really does kill me i'm going far too slow there as we put in another good lap there so the first lap it's always difficult but the um second lap we're only a third of a second behind the fastest lap there as we go purple again there and with that wee bit of a wobble there at at the final at the peak of, as we come up to the peak of the triangle here that cost us four seconds that wobble that was expensive but fortunately we didn't come off and we didn't get any penalties and then the next lap we got is another 
181 which is again what six hundredths of a second off of the lap record so we're doing quite well there as we cut the chicane there again and it's going to give us another half a second penalty here we go don't need it but at least we're not hitting the walls that's the main thing if we, if we hit the walls it costs you even more as, as again as we come to the peak of the triangle here this last chicane i think it's the martini the rossi and then the martini because it's the other way around as we go down the rolex straight now um as you can see we're gonna turn into the pits but <laughs> i didn't see him he didn't see me i mean you know not the end of the world at least it, it wasn't that dangerous um now you can see i swapped from mediums to mediums there i need to go on to the hard so as as we come out in sixth place which isn't too bad um it's as we take the s's rather well there um it's not too bad i'm not unhappy at sixth you know we just have to keep putting the practicing keep getting the 150s 150 151 will we'll, we'll get us back up to the top again we, we we we're the better driver here we just need to make it count as we take the chicane there really well and we've got another purple sector there as, as you can see we, we're coming up to five now the fifth place we're, we're behind him we're in the slip stream we're going to catch up to him really quickly here we got a really good turn out there he got compromised going into it as you can see now we're catching him up nicely through the s's here we're going to get him at the at the peak of the triangle as we, we take that far better than he does there take it a lot better oh, we're gonna go on the outside he, he slows down a bit too much there and we just undercut him there and we get by him there that, that was a good move he was a little bit too slow there a little bit too hesitant we, I was just that much quicker there as we go through this chicane here as you can see the number four in front of us there we're taking that 15 10 15 20 miles too slow there we need to be that little bit quicker there as you can see now we we, we are catching everyone up because now they're doing their pit stop so so strategy at the moment is to pit every f seven laps so at lap around lap 13 12 13 we should go in and put the hard tires on and that will keep us because now the pit stops of work themselves out we're back up to third we're right on his tail now um so so again positive positive five six laps there sorry at nine laps so we're on a ninth lap now it, it's a positive start here we need to make the good our tires count against him against steam now as we come up behind him we should get him at this corner he goes to cover and we yeah i go around the outside that compromises his speed too much there i'm taking the wider line carrying more speed into that corner and that's why i take him now if he has any sense he should just slot in behind me and use my slipstream as we speed it up now and again you can see although the s's are a difficult one you can see i'm maximizing in the width for the track when that's where the practice is comes in you keep keep the, the track as wide as you can so you keep your speed up as we come up to the chicane again now we're taking this rather well it, it's a lot easier this way around than the other way around as we get another purple sector there D having a really strong first sector there really does help you pull away as we go purple there again in the second sector now as you can go we, we slow down far too much around there around the martini and the rossi chicane there and we get caught there with the steam we went purple purple so we should really be looking at a purple lap here as we come up to the start finish line here now yeah, we've gone blue sorry we've gone red because we're taking it far too slow and i think that's complacency he takes steam takes a far better line there my speed's far too compromised and he, he, he takes me there so the idea is get back in the slipstream and we can take him again shortly now this is on lap 11 we're in third we're exactly where we started um, and 
I think overall it's a neck and neck race as he hits the wall there and I'm glad I didn't jump cut that corner. I, I don't need that half a second penalty now. As you, as you can see, he goes wide there and we just go up the inside. I think we're going to have to better run on him here and we oh no, he's, he's done well actually, he's held that together well. You, sometimes when you take too much of that curb it does throw you a little bit when you come off of it. So he's doing well that. He's really doing well to extend the track like there. Sometimes when you do that, I find on the controller, it, it throws your car too much. Now, you need to be sort of hugging that apex there on the, on the curbs there too, so you don't fly off into that crash barrier. As again, we, we go red there, that's not too bad, but we're behind him. The, the, the lead all... Now, that looks a lot closer than it actually was the number four car there. Now, he started in seventh, so he's having a really good race as he, he compromises his speed a lot there. Um, as we go through the, the Rossi and the Martini chicane here, again, that wasn't bad, but we need to be just a little bit quicker. As we go speeding up now, we're, we're not going to catch him, that's why. We, we, we hover around that second away. We, we I don't think it's dirty here, I just don't think I'm clinical enough to pull up close to him as we go purple again. So that first sector there is really strong for us. We should have got a lot wider there as he's opened the gap by us, not taking that those S's properly. He's just slowly, slowly pulling away from us as we go in and we should have changed the hearts there. We should have changed the hard tyres there. We didn't. So we are looking, you know, <laughs> I realise I ain't changed the tyres. Do you know, just as the X button can't get any lower. <laughs> You've pressed it all the way down and it's not going any lower. And you go, oh no, I forgot to change the tyres properly. Now, I did consider going into the pits again because I have a nice gap there. I did consider going the pits to change onto hards, but I thought, you know what, let's just, we've got a 20 second penalty now, let's just see if we can get as high as we can go now. So we, we should be gaining on these quite a lot now as we go purple again there. We take that really well when Sausages has that compromise there on there and we're just gonna go right up behind him now. We're in his slipstream, we're gonna slide up behind him now as we go through the S's. These tyres are bad, mine are good, I, I have to make these count now. It's, it's, yeah. He's got that a bit rough, we've, we've, we've done the undercut there and we've, we've got him. Now that to me is just, it's, it's no more than the coming together. Yeah, and, it, and again. His inertia took it that way, that's as simple as that. I don't think it, it was good clean racing as far as I'm concerned. His inertia took me into me and I held the line, so no harm, no foul. It could have been a lot worse, but it, as far as I'm concerned, it, it, it's good racing there. As we follow him around the chicane there, as you can see, two and three there in the in the foreground there. So, so we do have the opportunity to take second place here and we can get by sausage really quickly here. And, and again, as I keep saying this on the previous races, it, this is at my downfall as we enter the last lap here. We give him a little tap there. He's a, because I'm so strong on that first corner, that's what gave me the ESR mark down. It wasn't him, he was just slower than me. It's not, not anything other than that. Now, the problem is I'm gonna have to let him go through the chicane of death first now. I, I, I should have overtook him. I should be on the back for a year of P3 and should be on the back of him as I take that a lot better than him. So we should take him and overtake him coming in or out of this corner before we go in the S as he, he takes a little bit there of the dirt there. We give him a little, another little tap there because he's slower than me. And again, his inertia just takes him that way into me. And we, we, we completely overtake there on the last lap now. We should have really been fighting number three or even taking over number three now and pushing on the back of number two. As you can see, number, the leader now is starting on his dodgy tyres. He's starting to really lose the plot now. His, his times are coming really down from 10 seconds now. It's down to four or five when, when we go through the finish line. Now, 
get I, I should have done better I think around there again you know it is in touching distance which again at the end of the races I have to say I, I'm really pleased with it I mean fourth place isn't too bad at the moment I mean we had no major frills or spills we kept the lap time consistent around the 150 151 152 <laughs> Apart from bad tyre choice, I think it was a good race. You know, we're coming up to the line now. You know, we're in touching distance of two and three. You know, okay. Not the worst result in the end. We, we dropped down to fifth there. And we're waiting for number six, seven and eight to go past the line now to see how much further we drop down. If we had changed the tyres there afterwards, when I realised we could still finish third there. Num now, as you can see, he's still, he's still running. There we go. We dropped down to sixth. But if we had gone into the pits there, once I noticed that mistake, we could have um, finished third there. So, you know, it was because we also changed the strategy of going on to the medium tyre rather than starting on the hard, which I've done previously. And that's, I think, what cost us. And there we go. We finished sixth. A, a disappointment. A disappointment. I think it was still a good race. I still enjoyed it. It's put, although the result wasn't there at the end of it, I think it was still a, a very good positive race for us there. And that brings us nicely to the end of this episode of the FIA Nations Cup. Uh, I would like to thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel if this is your first time here. And all that leaves me to say is now, I'll see you on the next lap.